Welcome to Top 10s. In this video, we're going to be talking about celebrities that got famous from dumb reasons. Now, there's going to be several stupid reasons in this list that people got famous from. Now, let's get started. For the first celebrity on this list, we have Tesca Brown. In February 2021, Brown posted a video on her social media accounts, including TikTok and Instagram, where she goes by the username of I'm Doll Lady. She explained that after running out of got to be glued blasting freeze hairspray, she sprayed the polyurethane adhesive Gorilla Glue spray on her hair the month prior, believing it would also be hairspray and that her hair became stuck to her scalp as a result, despite attempts to wash it out. The video went viral on TikTok where it received over 24 million views by that month. Funny thing was, Gorilla Glue also tweeted that they were very sorry to hear about the unfortunate incident that Miss Brown experienced. She soon got a call from Gina Rodriguez, a California-based executive producer and the owner of entertainment company Jatoni Productions, who recommended her to Beverly Hills-based plastic surgeon Dr. Michael Embeng. Obeng performed a four-hour long surgical procedure for free on her and applied a combination of aloe vera, medical grade adhesive remover, olive oil, and a small amount of acetone, which successfully removed the adhesive from her hair. Saturday Night Live referenced Brown in a sketch about two lawyers, played by Regina King and Keenan Thompson, pursuing a class action lawsuit against Gorilla Glue due to people using it as a beauty product. Gorilla Glue spray. Bad, bad, bad idea. Although unconfirmed today, Tesca's estimated net worth is around 270000 Another person who got famous for dumb reasons is Rebecca Black. Rebecca Black is an American singer and songwriter and YouTuber. She gained extensive media coverage when the music video for her 2011 debut single, Friday, went viral on YouTube and various social media sites. The song had a polarizing reaction as it peaked at number 58 on the Billboard Hot 100. It was also panned by audiences and music critics, many of whom consider it among the worst songs ever made. Later on in her career, Rebecca Black featured more commercial success as her first studio album, Let Her Burn, was released. In 2011, she also won the Teen Choice Award for the Choice Web Star as herself. She also has a net worth of $1.2 million. Logan Paul's early career already gave him momentum with his YouTube channel and vlogs, but on December 31st, 2017, Paul's popularity would skyrocket. Paul uploaded a vlog to his YouTube channel depicting the recently deceased corpse of a man who had died by hanging himself in Okagara at the base of Mount Fuji in Japan, known as the Suicide for Forest due to its infamy as a suicide site. Initially intended to be a part three of his Tokyo Adventure series, Paul and his group had planned to camp in the woods, but in response to finding the corpse decided to notify the authorities and cancel their plans. The video gained 6.3 million views within 24 hours of being uploaded. Paul's video depicting the corpse, which was censored, and his group's reactions to it were criticized by celebrities and politicians. In addition, he was accused by other members of the YouTube community of being insensitive to suicide victims. As a result of the backlash, Paul removed his video from his YouTube channel, following up with a written apology on Twitter on January 1, 2018. The following day, on January 2nd, the subsequent video apology was released to YouTube in which Paul admitted to making a severe and continuous lapse in his judgment. Since then, Logan has competed in boxing and the WWE, and he is still making vlog videos to this day. Logan Paul's estimated net worth is $150 million. Daniel Bergoli definitely got famous for a dumb reason. Danielle Bergoli, known professionally as Bad Baby, is an American rapper and internet personality from Bonton Beach, Florida. During her appearance on the talk show Dr. Phil in September 2016, she uttered the phrase, Catch me outside, how about that? For which she become best known. Due to its brief viral recognition and meme status, the remark became her catchphrase and led to merchandising and her to capitalize on the attention with a recording career. Following her appearance on Dr. Phil, Bergoli spent time at the Turnabout Ranch, a facility for troubled teens in Escalante, Utah. 
She was later arrested and pleaded guilty to charges of grand theft, marijuana possession, and filing a false rep police report, in which she was sentenced to five years probation in July 2017. But the probation ended earlier in March 2018 after she hired a new lawyer. 2018, she was nominated for a Billboard Music Award as a top female rap artist. And she was nominated. She never won an award. Bad Baby's net worth is $25 million due to unmonetizable reasons. Last up on this list, we have the Huck Tao Girl. Oh, you gotta give him that Huck too and spit on that thing. Huck Tao Girl released a viral video that got 8 million views of her saying, Huck Tao, you gotta spit on that thing. The video also garnered a half a million views on TikTok in less than a week. Huck Tao is an onomatopoeia for the sound of spitting in the context of the Huck Tao Girl meme. It represents a woman hawking spit while performing under the bedsheet activities. Amidst all of her popularity, Haley Welsh's net worth is only reported to be 200,000. Thank you for watching people who got famous for dumb reasons. If you liked the video, let us know in the comments below and thank you so much for watching.